I'm Aggie. I'm Aggie. I'm Dylan. I'm John. I. <laughs> Hello, we are the Klingit. Klingit means people. Right here we have a lodge home that the Klingit lived in. These giant homes are made out of logs and cedar tree. They lived in the northwest coast of North America. On the top of the house there is a hole for all the smoke to get out of the house when the, the Klingit had fires at night. Right here you see a tall thing called the totem pole. They, they made these designs to represent the ancestors what they're good at and to mark important event, events. The totem pole is usually 20 to 60 feet tall, sometimes even 150 feet tall. Inside the house they're having a potlatch. Potlatch is a cer ceremony where the hosts give the guests presents. This is a fun time for everyone. Potlatches normally took a couple weeks to plan and they lasted very long. The Klingon's main food was salmon. Every year there was a salmon run. A salmon run is when all the salmon uh, near the Klingon area swim upstream and lay their eggs. Oh, there are a lot of fish for the Klingon to, ha uh, to hunt. Each family usually, ca usually catches like a thousand pounds and this is the uh, salmon rack where they hung the salmon to dry them out to preserve the food. And they made them into jerky. Also, they used canoes because they were able to specialize in this, in the salmon run, and they were also very good craftsmen. They speared the fish to catch them. Inside, there are storage places where they kept their dishes, canoes, and spears. Right here, we have an igloo. They sometimes lived in them. They were warm inside and packed with snow on the outside. When the when the Tlingit's home became part of the U.S., they lost most of the homeland. But in 1971, the Tlingit got 44 million acres back of their land when the, the Native Claim Settlement Law was mm, signed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for listening, and I hope you learned a lot about the Tlingit. Bye.